Hello, hello and welcome. I'm delighted to be here at the next Clark Community Conference. And so at first I would like to thank my family and everyone listening in advance. There are always discussions about whether Microsoft 365 is data protection compliant and that is why there are many who demand alternatives like Nextcloud for it. But is Nextcloud already suitable for the productive use in the education sector or is there still room for improvement? I am Vincent Schechner and since some years I have with my brother Benedict a blog about open source and Nextcloud and other amazing stuff. But let's start now. Nextcloud has lots of functions that are perfect for use at school and some of them I use daily. For example, here you can see the Nextcloud deck that I use for projects and presentations and other amazing functions are for example the Nextcloud to-do app or the end-to-end -end encryption. One organization that has implemented the integration of Nextcloud nearly perfectly is the Technical University of Berlin. The Nextcloud instance, also known as, as TubeCloud, is operated by uh, the internal IT department and a dedicated app is avail available at the iOS App Store. Over 30,000 users use the cloud regularly and each student has 20 gigabyte. And that's the first problem I see. We at our school use actually OneDrive and I think I use only 70 gigabyte only for school related data and there a storage quarter from 20 gigabyte would be a problem for me. And the example just given was a very large university. But what is with smaller schools like my uh, gymnasium? That's a problem I think. The schools often have only one system administrator who take uh, care of the uh, security and also have to maintain the files and data on the cloud. And uh, th there I think a solution is a managed next cloud and that's a, mm, and that's a option and with that option I think also smaller schools can use the next cloud and instead of for example OneDrive. So we see Nextcloud could theoretically also be an option for smaller schools. But now the question arises, is Nextcloud really an alternative to Microsoft 365? I think that depends. Two aspects I already mentioned is the price and the, uh, uh, for example with the available storage and the maintenance with the system administrator and uh, I think that's two problems. But one of the biggest points of Nextcloud is the data privacy and I think here Nextcloud is clearly ahead just in the end-to-end -end encryption I already mentioned. But now we come to the actual point. I personally think the Nextcloud dashboard is much more clearly organized than for example Office. But unfortunately, I think, but unfortunately, I still think there are many disadvantages. For one thing, the, we all use at our school the, the Microsoft Teams clean for Windows, for example, or also iOS. And I know there's a Nextcloud Talk Windows clean, but uh, I think no student want to uh, want or want to to install a program for GitHub and they also able to, they aren't able to do that. And I think that's a problem. Another problem is the third part integration. We and our school use a program for classroom management because we have all digital end devices and that's only works with Nextcloud. I love the Nextcloud third part integration for private use, but I think it isn't ready for school. And another thing that I could imagine being a problem is the Windows app from, from, from Microsoft. On the one hand, you can also edit files in, with each other in the app and that only works online with Nextcloud. And on the other hand, PowerPoint, for example, is much more clearly 
organized and LibreOffice Impress. And now students, uh, for example, in uh, grammar schools, would be able to use uh, uh, LibreOffice Impress or more complex programs. And the last big problem has ironically arisen precisely through digitalization and at our school, and that's called OneNote. Because OneNote works perfectly with Microsoft Teams, and we and our teachers write our notebook entries in it, but it's more or less unrivaled. There are other note-taking apps and open source so so solutions, but there's no OneNote alternative. And so don't get me wrong, I love Nextcloud and I couldn't live without it in my private life. But I think, but I still think the education sector, especially grammar schools, aren't ready, aren't already, aren't ready for such a solution like Nextcloud. And that's I, why I brought a, and that's why I brought a quote from a great gem writer. Paths are created by walking them. I don't think we are there yet, and I don't think Nextcloud is already an alternative to Microsoft 365, but I think in the next few years it's all it's possible. Thank you.